What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at this right here, the Makuta 10 Plus. It's a man. Wow, this thing is uh, this thing is unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, it has uh, dual 1400 watt motors, dual. So you're looking at 2800 watts, and it goes like 47 miles an hour. Okay, so you know I went 40 miles an hour on that. Uh, mantis pro and it took your breath away okay so this is a very powerful scooter uh it go, goes off-road too so it has off-road tires on it and i'm going to um show you what comes in the package um up on the table i'll show you the stuff that's included and there's no manual you scan a QR code. It's real easy to get going i'll show you all this and when we do the little close-up part but uh, real quickly, let's just <clears throat> crack the box open. I'll bring the camera down, and we can show you the, uh, the insides here real quick. And then we'll uh, talk about some of the specs real, real fast. All right, guys. So let's get a little peek inside of the box here to see uh, how they got this packaged. So let's come over here, and the cardboard on this thing is extremely thick. Okay, so you can see right off the bat, the tool kit. So right off the bat, you got the tool kit. That's right in the top. Boy, that feels pretty substantial, actually. Then over here, hold on, let me put some light on the subject. There you go. <laughs> Look, it's easier to see when there's light. There's a cord. There's another cord. Those are for the chargers, which are over in that corner. Here's your little wheel caps. Here's your spare inner tubes. They give you two of those. There's those cords. And here is a, looks like a fender. I guess you'll have to install those. There's two fenders. Let's move them over there. Here's your two power supplies. Because, of course, it has the dual charging. So, let's get this styrofoam out. And there it is. The magnificence. Now, I think this is the... Let me look on the side of the box. Yeah, this is the 60-volt, 20.8-amp-hour version. Oh, they give you this little bag in here, one of those little travel bags. Those are nice. All right, so they got it packaged in there pretty solidly. All right, so I'll have to pull it up out of here, but you see how they got... Look how wide the deck is. Holy cow. Wow, that's why... I've never seen a deck that wide. Wow. Wow. Okay, so some of the specs, it has a 60 volt, 20 amp, 20.8 amp hour battery. It has um, uh, 62 miles of range. That's on that battery. They have another battery. I think it's a 26 amp, another version. This is the 20 amp. So this will go uh, the 62 miles. I think the other one does like 70 something. It has 10 inch off-road tires and will support a 330 pound load which is pretty substantial, but this scooter is substantial. This is way heavier and way bigger than uh, a lot of, you know, scooters you'd see, you know, just normal scooters that you would see, you know, with the store or, you know, any of these, you know, high boys or any of that. This is not, those aren't in this league. This is a whole nother, this is a whole nother uh, world <laughs> of scootering. <laughs> In this thing here compared to the normal stuff that you see floating around. It has uh, four spring independent suspension, which I'm going to show you when we do the close up. It's also sporting um, dual hydraulic brakes and um, it just has a lot of features, you know, turn signals. I think they're actually even auto turn off signals because when I press the turn signal, it. Um, if you turn the wheel and stop, it goes back out. 
And then it has this real loud horn, headlights. I mean, it's just got a lot of stuff on there. You know, just loads of features on this scooter. So um, let's uh, bring it over here and let you see it up close. All right, guys, <clears throat> here it is out of the box. And to say that I am impressed would be like the understatement of the century. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to show you guys is how to uh, turn it on. And we'll get that out of the way real quick. So you hit this button here. Here's the power button right here. You hold that in. Then that screen's going to come up. It's going to say card. And they give you these three, these little scanner cards right here. Um, and you just rub it over the screen like that. And it comes right on. So don't lose these, okay? Or you're never going to get the, you're never going to get it to come on. Now, I still have to charge the battery a little bit, but I just wanted to show you uh, some of the stuff on here. Now, the turn signals are integrated right into the handles, right into the grips, which I thought was pretty neat. And here they are, right here. See where my thumb is? That's one of the turn signals. So you would turn that on. You see it go down, going off right there. Goes off there in the back. So you would see it if you were behind somebody right there. Yep, that is uh, pretty neat. Then to flip to the other turn signal, you would do the corresponding grip right there. And so that comes on there too. But, oh, there it goes. It went out. <laughs> so it takes a second, just like on a car. Okay, so that, that uh, took care of that. Now to turn the headlight on, you press up on the arrow. This is the arrow for the speeds right here. So that will take it up to the third speed, but if you hold the button in, the arrow in, the headlight will come on. You see it get bright over there? I'm fixing to move here next week, so that's why it's complete chaos. <laughs> it's complete chaos over here. Anyway, there's the headlight, and it's uh, it's very bright. Okay, believe me, it's got dual headlights, plus those lights up on the side, they light up too. So while you're down here, you can see the front suspension. See the dual springs there, the independent suspension. It's got that in the front and in the back right there. I mean, look how nice that looks. I mean, seriously. Here's the latch. It's got a, a latch I haven't seen before, but there's the lock. So you pull, pull the unlock lever right there and just pull it down and then fold it over. There's your QR code for your user manual. Now let me show you what you had to tighten up when you got this out of the box. Okay, so the display was loose, the handlebars were loose, and the throttle was loose. Those were the only things. So what you did was you tilted back the display. And if you tilt back the display, you'll see these little bolts right in here. Okay, so you would tighten, you would set this where you wanted it, tighten those up, put the display where you wanted it, and tighten that up, which is in the back. There's a couple of Allen screws in the back for that. And they give you all the tools. Here's your hydraulic brakes right here. And it does have brake lights, so when you click on the brakes, you'll get some action down there on the lights. It'll flash, so, so it does have that, which is a nice feature. Now, these handlebars will fold down. All you have to do is unscrew this, and it, this actually screws in. It's not those kind that have that spring, you know, the spring-loaded ones, which I didn't like those because they always rattled. This is not going to rattle, okay, because you screw it in, which is a way better design, way better design. So, yeah, there it is. Wow, there's the fenders. There's the... The little wing back there, the little footrest that people use to pop the wheelies with. <laughs> I don't do that. Now, I will tell you, this thing is, is quite heavy. It's not really light. It was actually pretty hard for me to pick up, but I might give it, a, give it another shot when I get outside. But to change the, the stuff on the screen, so you would just hit the click on the power button, and that'll go to your trip, your voltage. It's only at 59 volts now because I don't have it. It's only uh, a little over halfway charged. It would normally be saying like 67 volts right now. 
So there's your odometer, trip, and your voltage. Okay, so it got all that. Then it has your headlight. It tells you your headlight's on. See that? So if we hold up on it, that'll go back out. So the headlight's out. And then this up and down here is your speed. Three, two, one. Okay. Then over here, I will, when we get out to do the ride, I'll do the horn. The horn is so loud. I don't want to wake my wife up. She's sleeping still. Okay. But here's the, uh, the dual motor um, right there, the dual motor switch. And then there's the horn. I mean, that horn is loud. Okay. So we're not going to do that. But anyway, so don't use these, uh, don't lose these little keys right here. You need them. So I got to cut that little zip tie there and get them off. So yeah. Oh yeah. It's oh the build on this thing is just wow. Okay. I mean, it is incredible. The build quality on this thing. Wow. Jeez Louise. Okay. So let me go up here on the table and show you all the stuff that comes in the box. There's a, a lot of stuff in there. And then we'll go out and ride it. All right, guys. So inside the box, you get a couple of spare inner tubes. So this is a nice feature. They're pretty thick, too. You get the covers for the bolts, you know, the nuts for the wheels. You get your two cords for your power supplies. You get a spare, two spare fenders. And the first time I've ever seen this now, you get a spare tire. Okay, you get one spare tire in case you shred one of them up. I know a place, a nice place to take this sucker, because I the uh, I know I had that Dagway and tried to go off road with it and it wouldn't hang, but I bet you this would hang in that spot. So you get your two chargers right here, and then right here is your toolkit. So you would open that up, and there that is right there. So it gives you the big wrench here and the, the sockets to get the wheel off. Hopefully, I'll never have to do that. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, there it is. Wow, very impressive. You know what? Let's go ride it. Hey guys, I forgot about the bag. Okay, got to add that on there. All right, everybody, we're out here with the Mukuta 10 Plus and well, this thing. Wow, I'm blown away by this thing. I'm going to stop over at the garage. I think I need to move the, the throttle down just a little hair. But uh, yeah, wow. Okay, yeah, wow on this thing. Unreal. So anyway, we're just going to take our little after the unboxing type ride and just ride it around for a little bit, you know, get to feel the brakes and the, check the speeds in the different, uh, in the different modes. All right, guys, just let me tell you out of the box because I was riding it around for a minute and couldn't figure out why I was going so slow at the six miles an hour, you know. So anyway, what you have to do is you have to go in here and change the P settings and it's pretty bright out here. And so this display is not that great. It's not that bright. I was looking in there a way to make it brighter, but, uh, there is, uh, no issue in there about, uh, or there's no P setting to make that brighter. So I'll have to look around on some other setting, but anyway, so to change the P settings, all you do is you hold these two at the same time long press so in about you know three seconds it'll the p settings will come up you scroll through the p settings with the power button so it'll go up to number eight so it's set for like uh, 16 miles an hour or actually 28 kilometers per hour which i think is like 17 miles an hour something like that you just want to keep hitting this till it gets up to 100 okay so then you're going to get then you're going to unlock your speed Okay, I was wondering, I was driving around up here, up on the hill at like six miles an hour, and I was like, okay, that was in first gear, and then I went to second gear, and it was uh, uh, eight or nine miles an hour, and then I went to third, and it went up to 15. I said, well, I know it goes faster than that, so, so um, yeah, I figured it out, though, but uh, they tell you that in the manual. It's not like some companies where they hide that stuff from you, but uh this is all in the manual how to change the P settings. And when you quit, you know, it'll automatically quit the P setting on its own. But then when you put the P settings back, it'll be back at the same one that you left it at. It doesn't revert it back to the beginning like some uh, other bikes and stuff do where they revert back all the time. And then you got to restart it and go up to 13 or 14. This one will just stay there. So the next time I turn this on, It'll be, uh, it'll be the P setting will be on there. You know, it'll be right. At, oh, actually, it'll be at the number nine because that was the auto start or not. I put it on kickstart. So, 
Um, but I, I put it on kickstart because once I turn the speed all the way up, I don't want to, you know, pop no wheelie or, you know, get thrown off of the thing. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's great. Great stuff. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so now we're going to uh, test the speeds out. I have the one motor on is what I think I'm going to do today. I don't think I'm going to try the, the dual motor because I don't have my knee pads on or a helmet or my elbow th stuff. So um, I'm just going to test the, uh, the one motor speed today. So, And I put it on the kickstart, okay? So, okay, so we're in the first uh, speed here. Now, you know, it's Friday afternoon. I got all these cars running. Usually I do this on Sunday morning, right? There's nobody here. <laughs> but we're here right now, so we're going to do it. So first speed is 23. And don't forget that cruise control kicked on. So I have got to get, I do not like cruise control on scooters. I think it's, to me, it's dangerous. I just don't like it. On bikes, it's fine. But on scooters, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of cruise control on scooters. So I'll figure out a way maybe to get it rid of it or not. <laughs> we'll figure it out one way or another, right? Okay, so let's go up to the second speed. Single motor. Thirty one. Wow, that's pretty fast. That's real fast. There might be a little bit too much traffic out here for me to to ramp this up doing this here today. We might have to just uh, stick with speed two single motor till I could get out in the open somewhere because I am not in the mood for some uh, person to pull out of this office parking lot and wax me. Wow. Boy, you could feel the power of this thing when you were, uh, wow. Wow, wait. Let me see if I can get onto this road over here. If I can get a little spot where nobody's coming. Maybe I can sneak on over there. Like I said, it's Friday and there's a lot of cars out, so. Plus, it's getting ready to rain any minute. Oh. Okay, let me hit speed three. I mean, the speed limit over here is only <laughs> only 20. <laughs> well, it actually only went up to 31 where I had to let off of it. See, what I don't like about the, this is what I don't like about cruise control on scooters. You know, you let off of it and it's still going full bore. You want it to slow down when you let off, okay? You don't want it to keep going. So, yeah, it didn't seem like there was much difference in the speed between uh, the second and the third. Not to where I could get to there, but I'll have to go to uh, over there in the McKee Sport to try this. That's where I have that, like, quarter mile deal over there where I can uh, unload on this thing, you know. Over here... Especially on a Friday afternoon, I'm not going to be able to uh, rip, let this thing rip. Uh, 
Oh, this thing. Oh, the power of this thing is unreal. Wow. So it's a fantastic scooter so far, and I will tell you, the only thing I didn't like about it was that uh, is the standover height. I wish it was just a couple more inches more. I mean, that's a small nitpick, right? It's not uh, the end of the world. Still runs great, so. Well, that was good enough for the unboxing. I'll take it over to the, um, I'll take it over to Lions Park. They have that incredible hill over there, that real nice hill. And, uh, and then they have the off-road section where it goes down a hill and then up a hill off-road. So we'll give, a, give that a good shot over there. So yeah. All right, guys, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later.